Just as this structure at St. Mary's of Sorrow formerly nurtured the hopes of individuals and families, now as the King Urban Life Center, it can and will again be a catalyst to bring hope to a scattered community. The majestic century-old St. Mary's of Sorrow's Catholic Church at Genesee and Rich Streets on Buffalo's east side has a second lease on life. Founded by German immigrants and known also as the Church of the Seven Dollars, it has survived the Wreckers Ball and now will serve the community as an education and cultural institution to be known as the King Urban Life Center in memory of the late civil rights leader. Project manager Kenneth Sherman tells us how the landmark church was saved. Well, it, uh, it was on, on its way to be in bid, and then the preservationists took the case to the city and got it landmarked. Uh, so the bid for the demolition was halted. Mm -hmm. And the, by the virtue of the landmark status uh, done by the landmark board, it gave the city some six months or namely through the council to create an entity to review proposals and, uh, and if no proposal came forward from the community it would have been demolished. In September of 1989 church bells pealed from the tower of the 19th century Romanesque edifice to signal the rebirth of the landmark structure. Organizations that helped save St. Mary's were represented at the dedication of the new center. This group um, and would never be ha have been as successful had it not been for the Blue Ribbon Committee that was formed three years ago and many of us served on to study this building and to try to find a, a reuse for it. This project really represents for our organization a turning point in preservation in that we feel that it represents a change, a feeling, a mood, the preservation can be a benefit to everyone in the community, not just a particular segment of our community, but really a benefit to everyone. Just as a stone was used by God in the Old Testament to refresh his people with water, and a stone was rolled away in the New Testament to show that our Lord and Savior had risen to give new hope to a dying world, this will become a stone of hope raising out of a mountain of despair. Rather than lose this monumental edifice, this wonderful building, a group of concerned citizens banded together to see what could be done to save it. And I'm very pleased and happy to say that my office was able to help them with a $500,000 matching grant from the Environmental Quality Bond Act, which was sponsored by the governor and passed by the legislature. In behalf of my colleagues in the Assembly and Senate, both Republicans and Democrats, uh, we're also very proud of this, and hopefully very shortly soon, children will be running in and out of here, and we can really say thank you, Lord, for this blessing. Instead of this becoming a vacant lot, this will become a vital part of this community. On behalf of the citizens of the city of Buffalo and to everyone, we say thank you. There'll be a theater group, repertory theater group, we hope to have a public access center. It'll be an urban branch of Houghton College. It'll house programs that our organization, Citizens Alliance, will deliver, namely uh, housing services to the neighborhood. Uh, it will have a, a, a program of the Episcopal Diocese uh, that is an economic development loan and trust fund for housing and development activities at low interest. Uh, it will have the Preservation Coalition delivering services to its members and to the community in preservation type activities. We will be looking at three ways that we hope to use this facility. First, there will be education for the clergy and laity of this area. Second, we will be looking at child care training. And third, we will be looking at math and tutorial science programs for students who live in this area with the goal of helping them prepare for college. Our primary focus is to provide a vehicle for black performers, writers, and other kinds of creative artists, whether they're t technicians or producers. Mm -hmm. But we are an integrated company and have always been, and our presentations are integrated. 
the building now owned by the city and leased to the sacred sites restoration corporation for 99 years is in the process of being renovated a million dollars from the city and state has accounted for some exterior work about two million more is needed to complete steeple, tower, and other exterior repairs, as well as an architectural study for interior renovation. A fundraising campaign is underway. The news that daycare workers may be trained here, that children may soon have an after-school program here, that the talents of neighborhood people in the visual and performing arts may be exhibited here, is most welcome news to the parishioners of St. Mary of Sorrows and the Catholic Diocese of Buffalo. It's a really a marvelous reuse of an old historic landmark. If we can do that, it will be a sign right across this whole of the United States on how people of diverse cultures, backgrounds, constituencies and governments can work together to make a meaningful urban life program for a desperate neighborhood a sign of hope in a valley of despair.